Happens in Indianapolis man he is behind bars this afternoon accused of murder after police say he shot and killed someone trying to steal his car. Fox 59's Jesse Wells has more on what court records claim happened and reaction from the victim's family. After being shot, the victim sped just a short distance down the street, driving through this fence line before eventually slamming headfirst into a nearby tree. Today, that victim's family says they're still struggling to make sense of that violence. With surveillance cameras rolling at this Marathon gas station along Southeastern Avenue, police believe an attempted car theft turned deadly on Tuesday. I mean, it's, it's painful. It hurts, man. Michael Hadley's younger brother, 30-year-old Dustin Phipps, died after being rushed to the hospital. Dustin wasn't a, a dangerous or violent person at all, so it, it, it really struck me and, and Every man, that's my little brother, you know. After the shooting, Michael's brother drove this white Chevy headfirst into a tree. Hours later, police arrested 46 year old Ann Victor Butler for murder. Court records claim Butler got out of the driver's seat of the Chevy and went inside the gas station. That's when Phipps got out of a second vehicle and into Butler's car. As the car began to drive away, police say Butler ran outside and fired two shots into the driver's side window. Knowing Dustin, he's not a fighter. He's, you know, not a, I'm sure he was scared to death. And they said that he took off and he was shot in the back as he was driving away. The affidavit claims that while the suspect left the scene after the shooting, he later hired an attorney who contacted police and the suspect turned himself in. Michael admits his brother had struggled to deal with the loss of both parents in recent years and just wishes the whole situation could have been avoided. He was in a pretty deep place and it just hurts me to know that there could have been some other ways to reach out to him and, and maybe assist him in some of the problems he was going through and maybe it would have led him away from this incident. Nobody out here is, is getting into scuffles anymore. They're, they're carrying guns around and they're shooting to kill. Finally, the suspect is being held without bond at the Marion County Jail pending the filing of formal charges. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you.